hi guys in this video i'm gonna explain how you can create vintage look in davinci resolve so we were shooting a commercial and this shot particularly was supposed to be from past so for that we had to create a vintage look and we created it on set i was gonna make a video about that but i just waited till the video is out now the video is out and i can show you really how you can create this look as well so to show you that i have imported these two clips one is wide and the other one is a uh, medium close-up uh, tracking in short and these videos were shot on airy alexa mini lf camera and it was in airy lock c3 so i will import both of these first of all in my timeline there you go so first this is the wide shot so first of all i will go to color page here and then i will click on one of the clicks i will come here go to effects and i will have to do the color space transform so i will just drag and drop it here there you go now when we do the color space transform we should know that what camera we were using what was the input color space and what was the input uh, gamma so for me i was on Airy alexa mini lf so i had Airy wide gamut 3 and my input gamma was Airy s uh, log 3 sorry not uh, s log and you should know that what your camera's log was like if it was on sony a7s3 it should be s gamma 3 and s log 3 uh, so on the output color space i will go here i will click on rec 709 and then output gamma should be gamma 2.4 there you go now we have converted our log footage to rec 709 the next step is we should know that whenever we are creating a vintage look it is almost warmer somehow it looks a bit warm so to give it a bit of warmth what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first of all close the effects and create a new node i will come to my wheels and in my wheels i'm gonna increase the temperature like this but you see when i increased the temperature there was a green tree and it's in, uh, adding somehow a greenish tint in my video so to remove that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come on the tint and i'm gonna go towards pink there you go so now if i show you before and after this is before and this is after so we are one step towards our vintage look the next thing which i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create one more node and in this node specifically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna determine my contrast ratio first of all and then i'm gonna see how much saturation should there be because whenever we are creating a vintage look it should not be saturated as the colors are now because those vintage videos if you go and look any of your wedding videos or any vintage uh, films they were not as saturated as it is now so i'll have to desaturate it so to do that i have created a new node and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come on contrast and decrease it a bit and then on my saturation i'll go down there you go and i'm gonna create my temperature a bit more there you go okay after this we'll have to do two more steps first of all in vintage videos there was a bit of redness so to add that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create one more node and in that i'm gonna come on gamma and i'm gonna go from 0 to 2 0 0.02 so if i disable and enable it you can see it added a very subtle redness in our video but that is how our vintage videos looked before so it's another step to go towards your vintage video look now the next thing which makes your video look very very vintage is to add halation effect in your video nodes i will come to effect i will go on halation i will drag and drop there you go so on the halation first of all i will determine my threshold and after that i have this uh, layer reflection and then secondary glow and if you want to add the grain surely you should add the grain to make it look like really vintage so first of all i will go on the threshold and i uh, to me it's like somewhere here and on the dye layer reflection i'm gonna go on strength and i'm gonna adjust it like this and gamma is very important because it determines like what level of exposure should be affected by halation so if i decrease it it's just gonna go to the highlights but if I increase it, like if I go towards there, it will take the mid-tones and apply the halation on mid-tones as well, which is not what we want. So 
it should just affect our highlights so till here is fine and the same thing on this i will just strengthen it a bit the glow and i will decrease the gamma so it's just affecting our highlights now on the grain i'm gonna apply the grain and then i'm gonna decrease the strength like this so on this you will not be able to see the grain even if i go full screen you can see it's not really showing the grain but if i take a graph from here and i go on this which is having the skin tones and everything and i come to the closer point like here and i apply this grid now you can see what we did it looks so beautiful this was the grid which was being done there and here i have added noise and it is showing uh, like in a very cool way if i remove this noise uh, or grain you see that it's very subtle but it makes your video look like something beautiful so now just to recap what will make your video look like uh, vintage is first of all you should convert it to rex 109 and then you have to add the warmth after adding the warmth you have to uh, determine what contrast and saturation uh, should it have and after that you have to add a bit of red like very subtle red in the whole video and it will make it go towards the vintage look a bit more and right after that what you do is you uh, go to your highlights and apply halation on those I have shown you how to do it in free version and even in paid version so there is no excuse guys so i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos like this thank you so much for watching